what's up guys Neat J here. Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to create this particle scene. The particles are shaded from an image texture using X particles in Cinema 4D and rendered in Octane. Let's jump right into it. Here's the image we'll use in this tutorial. Actually it's my photography work. I'll create an emitter object, the same aspect ratio as this image. We can see that the resolution is 1463 by 2048 pixels. Now let's go to the viewport. Create a cube. Change the size. I made the X and Z axis the same ratio as the image size, which is 146.3 centimeters and 204.8 centimeters, and the Y axis 2 centimeters. This is the emit object. Duplicate the cube and make the size a little bit bigger. This is the collider for the emitter. Add a display tag to the collider cube and change the shading mode to lines so that we can clearly see the position. Make it just cover the smaller box. Create an XP system. Select the XP emitter. In the object tab, change the emitter shape to object and drag the cube into the object selection. Set it to emit from texture and leave it there for now. Change the emission type to shot and increase the shot count. Set the speed to zero. Check the simulation. We can see that the particles are emitting from the cube. Let's change the editor display to spheres. Reduce the radius. I think the outer box is too flat. Change the size of the y-axis to 8 centimeters. And increase the shot count numbers. Add an XP collider tag to the outer box. Change the collision normals to inside. Set the bounce to zero and change the friction to 100%. Maybe reduce the radius and increase the shot count again. Add an XP gravity modifier. The particles are all down to the bottom. Add an XP fluid FX. Change the accuracy to medium. In the emitter extended data fluid data tab, Change the fluid type to granular. Change the friction to 100%. The number of shots seems too high. Maybe reduce it back to 20,000. The emitter box is also too flat. Change the Y axis to four centimeters. In the Emitter Extended Data, Physical Data tab, I'm going to try to increase the friction to 100% and reduce the bounce to zero. Now let's move to the next step, shading the image texture to the particles. Create a standard material. In the color channel, load the flower photo as the texture. In the emitter object in the texture tab, drag the material tag to the texture tag area. We can see the particle color turning to image texture, but the emit channel is set to color in default. Just change the emit channel to none. We only need the texture in the color channel. In the top view, in the material tag, change the projection to flat. Right-click on the Material tag and click on Fit to Region. Left-click and hold to draw a rectangle selection of the whole box. Boom! Now the particles are forming the image the right way. Check the simulation. Now let's create a plane as the floor collider and add an XP Collider tag to the plane. Reduce the bounce to zero and add the friction. Move it to the right place. Create a sphere and change the radius. I'll create a spline for the sphere to travel along across the particles. In the top view, draw the spline path. Add 
Add an XP Collider tag to the sphere. And add an Align to Spline tag to the sphere. Drag the spline to the spline path area. Move the spline to make the sphere just on the floor. Keyframe the position in the Align to Path tag to make it move across the particles. Check the simulation. Add an XP drag modifier. Change the density to treacle. This will make the resistance look like the treacle. Change the strength multiplier to 200%. Check the simulation. The friction of the sphere is too high. All the particles colliding with the sphere are pulled out. Reduce the friction of the collider to 2%. Check the simulation. The particle friction is still too high. They are very difficult to get back to the original position. Reduce the friction in the physical data for a try. Check it. Yeah, that's what I wanted. The particles are too big. Add the shot count and reduce the radius. That's better. Just tweak all these parameters to get what you want. Now let's get to the rendering part. How can we render the particles which are shaded from the image texture in Octane? Now we cannot see any particles in the live viewer. Add an Octane object tag to the emitter. In the particle rendering tab, enable geometry. Now we can see the particles in the render viewer. Create a sphere. Change the radius to match the radius of the emitter particles. And reduce the segments to make it less polygons. Create a glossy material and drag the material onto the sphere. Add an instance color node to the diffuse channel. Drag the emitter onto the color source. In the Octane object tag, drag the sphere into the geometry area. That's it. The particles are now all shaded by the emitter's color source. But the color is not right. In the instance color node shader, change the color space to linear sRGB plus legacy gamma. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. If it helps, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll keep creating more contents. See you in the next video.